Good evening, everyone. Today is Friday, March 11th, 2016. I'm Paul E. Esther, and this is your gaming news lowdown of the day. Deep Silver, the publisher of the Dead Island series, has cut ties with developers Jaeger and brought in Sumo Digital. Most of the Dead Island games haven't been well received, so potentially this is a move in the right direction. Ubisoft is claiming that The Division had the largest launch day sales numbers for any of their games ever. At the time of recording, there hasn't been any solid numbers released, but from looking at various friends lists and social media chatter, it's probably true. The new Hitman, the one being released episodically, will have a physical release in about a year. In January of 2017, Square Enix will release all seven episodes on a retail disc. If you don't want to wait, however, you can go get yourself the prologue and the Paris mission right now. Two of the largest mobile IPs now have trading card style games. Clash Royale was released recently, and soon Plants vs Zombies Heroes will be released. The game will include PvP, single player, and card crafting. PopCap Games promises that you'll be able to get every card without paying real money, though of course, in-app purchases will be available. Daybreak Studios is canceling EverQuest next. The studio released a statement today citing the cancellation of the MMO due to the game just not being fun. EverQuest Landmark, the building game announced at the same time as EverQuest next, will still be developed. Hearthstone's getting a new set of cards. After an in-progress mural was spotted being painted yesterday, today Blizzard has announced whispers of the old gods. If you like tentacles, you'll probably want to get in on this 134 card expansion. File this one under, why is this weird thing making me want to play this game? But here's a trailer for a new Asmodan skin in Blizzard's MOBA, Heroes of the Storm. Look at him! He's got a basketball jersey! And he just dunked on that temporal hoop! If they were to partner with Warner Brothers and make a Monstars alternate jersey, I would buy this immediately! Well, that's all for me, Paul E. Yester. What's your favorite Instagram filter? Let me know in the comments. This has been your Gaming News Lowdown of the Day.